This is an art attack? This is an art attack. This is Art Attack! <laughs> for some more art attacks. I've got all my art attack big pens and pencils ready and here's one for you. And guess what? It really works. Come and have a look at this. Cut the front of a cereal box and divide it lengthways into six equal strips and then fold the card along the lines. Now it can be a little bit difficult to fold cards so you could always use a ruler to help you. And you may be wondering why I'm doing it so easily. That's because I've already folded the card before. <laughs> and then open it out like that and fold these two side strips back on themselves like that and overlap them. And then tape them securely in place, one there and one there like that. So that is the shape of your pencil body. Now to make the pencil, you need to make a cardboard cone. Cut the back of your cereal packet and cut a quarter of the pack out. I'll show you how to do that. Divide it in half one way, in half the other way, and then cut one of these quarters out. So it looks like that. And to make the cardboard cone, just watch this. Just fold the corner of the card back like that and then roll it back on itself, keeping one end nice and loose and wide like that. Just roll it back on itself and there's your cone. And don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. Just let it go and start again. I'll show you again how to do that. Just fold the corner of the card and then tightly fold the cone but leave one end loose like that. So you're rolling it back on itself to make the cone. And there's the tip of the pencil and just stick it inside the body like that. Now you must tape it into place and you have to tape it very securely otherwise it'll all fall apart when it comes to writing with it. And I'm just going to do it very to show you. I never get enough time on Art Attack to show you all these things and you can take a lot more time to do it but I'm just going to put another piece of tape on there to make that nice and secure. So that's the shape of the pencil and to make the drawing tip take a black felt pen any size felt tip pen at all and just snip the top of the cone like that and the idea is to fit the felt tip pen inside the cone but don't snip too much off just snip bits off at a time so that the pen will eventually fit in nice and snugly and there it goes and just fit that in yeah that's good and the idea is to just get the pen right inside so there's about a centimeter of the pen plus its lid showing. And the reason for that centimetre is because, again, you're going to tape that nice and securely. One there and one there. It has to be secure, otherwise you won't be able to write with it. And that's your pencil body. To make it even stronger, with newspaper. See what I've done here? I've crunched up some really tight newspaper balls and I'm just going to pop those down inside the cone like that, in they go, right down inside the cone, and I'm just going to shove them down with a ruler like that. So now you see why you have to tape it really securely, otherwise it'll all fall apart. And then to stuff the body, just use some other balls of newspaper, not so tight this time, but just stuff them in to make the whole thing nice and sturdy. And then to finish it off, get some more tape and just tape across that open end there to complete the shape of your pencil. And the tape is fighting back here. You get that over the end. And it will keep all the stuffing in, all that newspaper stuffing, and it will complete the shape. And the idea is to cover the whole of that open edge, or the open end there, with tape. And then you make it even sturdier. And the way to do this is to mix some PVA glue, you know the old white school glue that you get in the squidgy bottles. Mix two parts water, one part glue, and then just paste it onto the side of your pencil, like that, and take some loo roll or tissue paper. Now, you've probably seen me do this before. It's a great technique. It makes things really strong. Just lay the loo roll or the tissue paper into the glue, and then paste a little bit more on the top. And the idea 
is to cover the whole of the pencil except the tip. And the reason I'm doing this is it just makes the whole job a lot sturdier and it makes it easier to paint. Again, I just paste on top of that there and paste it down into all the nooks and crannies. And when it comes to the tip, you put your glue on like that. And when it comes to putting your tissue paper on, make sure it goes into all of those open edges down there and the nooks and crannies. But whatever you do, don't paste over your pen tip or it won't write. I've covered the whole thing apart from the tip. Leave it overnight to dry. When it's dry, you'll have something that looks like that. Look what's happened. The tissue paper and PVA glue have gone rock hard. And there it is, rock hard and ready to paint. And you can paint it using poster paint or acrylic paint. And it's always a good idea to paint the tip in a yellow colour or light woody colour. See this, it's a sort of yellow ochre colour. That's a nice colour for the tip of the pencil. And as far as the rest of the pencil is concerned, you can paint any colour you like. But I like painting them red because I think that is a really good art attack colour. And then just to finish it off, you know the way pencils always have writing on? Take one of these gold or silver pens, or you could use a marker, and just put some writing on one side edge of your pencil. Art attack. I'm going to write. You can write whatever you want. You can write art attack. You could write your name on the side of your pencil. Art attack, I think, because after all, it is an art attack pencil. And when it's finished, you'll have a really professional, big art attack pencil. Look at that. I think that looks absolutely brilliant. And you see what I've done here? Just to finish it off, I've just gone round all the detail with black marker. And it just picks out all the detail there along the pencil. I've even put the black lead in at the end. And guess what? It even writes. Just take a piece of paper, take off the lid of the pen, hold it very carefully at the end, and watch this. And it's at this time that you'll be really glad that you taped everything nice and secure. Try it yourself. An art attack big pencil. I'm back! Yes, it's me, the head! <laughs> now that is so clever. And to think it all starts off by dividing the front or back of a cereal box into six equal strips lengthways, and then folding it around. And don't forget to tape everything securely. They're so fantastic, I've made a set of them. The only problem is they won't fit in my pencil case. Oh.